How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the Bandai Cyborg 009 00 number box 3. So you have a really nice window display to see all the figures inside and I especially like the background because it has illustrations of each character. Looks really cool. And then at the top you just have the name of the set itself and then pictures of the figure on both sides and then legal stuff on the bottom and then the back you have more pictures of the figures and it also shows the other sets in this line and then you have a nice picture to see all the figures displayed together and then to open the box just lift open the side flap And just lift open the front cover. And there are the figures all together with their accessories. So taking a closer look at 004, although these are older figures, I still feel that they're really nicely sculpted for the most part. It's a simple sculpt, but it's really accurate to how they appear in the show. So looking at his face, I feel that they've captured the likeness of his character really well. I especially like his really frown sort of expression. And then his hair is very nicely sculpted. It is very smooth and then you have the slight sculpts in the strands of hair towards the edges. So it's accurate to how he appears. And moving down to his outfit, it's a simple sculpt but it's very clean for the most part. And then the four buttons are painted on. And then to the scarf, you can see all the creases and folds in the scarf. And that continues on to the length as well. Adds a lot of nice movement to the scarf. And I think my main gripe with the scarf is that the peg that they used isn't the same colour. So it does kind of stand out a bit. And then down to this part, which is a softer material. And that's the same for the gun holster as well, so that's nice. And then down to his boots, which are simple sculpt, but they are very clean for the most part. And as for paint, there isn't really a whole lot of paint, since the red and the black are moulded in that colour plastic. The only paint work is really in the skin colour, the hair and the yellow. So there's little paint on these figures, but they are very nice and clean for the most part. And then looking at 007, it's the exact same body sculpt as 004. So it's pretty much the same, but unfortunately there are a bit of scuffs on him for some reason, like the part on his torso here, bit of a scuff on the yellow paintwork, and then a bit of a scuff on his coat as well. So there is some sort of quality control it seems, but they aren't super noticeable, but I just thought I'd point them out. And then obviously he does have the different head sculpt. And again, I really like his expression, really captures his character really well. And then of course he does have the organic hand instead of the metallic hand that 004 has. And then we come to 003, which is a complete original body sculpt for her. So much more feminine. The proportions are a bit different as well. And then looking at her face again, I feel that they have captured the likeness of her as well. But I do find that her eyes are painted on a bit wonky. But it's not super noticeable. But again, I just thought I'd point it out. And then the hair is nicely sculpted. And it is a solid piece, but it isn't really heavy or anything. So it doesn't really weigh down the figure. But there is a bit of a seam line that kind of runs around the edges. But again, it's not super noticeable. And then the red part that's painted on does look a little bit sloppy. But again, it is clean for the most part. And then down to her outfit, again, you have the four buttons. And then a scarf with all the familiar sculpts on it. And then she wears a longer skirt, but it is softer material again. 
and then down to her shoes again. Simple sculpt, but looks very clean. And then she does have the differently sculpted hands as well compared to the male characters. So that's nice attention to detail. So for articulation, the neck is on a hinge, so you can rotate the head about however you want. And then you can also move them back and forth as well. And then the scarf is on a hinge, so you can bring it all the way to the back. But because the scarf is a solid piece, it does make the figure back heavy when you do that. But it's also on a hinge, so you can move it side to side. And then the shoulder is on a hinge, so you can bring his arm out to the side. Bring his arm forward, but because of the sculpt of the shoulder, it forces the arm to be at an angle. And that's the same going back as well. But he does have the bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows. And then ball jointed wrists. And then for the torso, it's on a hinge, so you can rotate his body about. And then each leg is also on a hinge, so you can bring them out to the side. And because this is softer material, it doesn't really restrict the leg too much. And then that's the same going forward, going back. He doesn't have thigh swivel, but he does have rotation in the boot. And then double jointed knees, but it does kind of break the sculpt up of the boot. It makes it really pointy. And then he's got the ball jointed ankle, so you can go back that much, forward that much, tilt side to side, as well as twist. So, although he's an older figure, he still has really decent articulation, and because of their simple design, they're not really restricted too much. And I'm not going to go over 007's articulation, just because it's the exact same as 004, so expect the same range of articulation. For 003, the head is on a hinge, so you can rotate her head about. And then the hair is sculpted in a way that it doesn't get in the way with the scarf, so that's nice. She can also look up and down as well. And then the scarf functions the same on a hinge, bring it out to the back, as well as side to side. But it is a bit stuck for whatever reason. But there we go, it starts to move. The shoulders on a hinge, bring her arm out to the side, bring her arm forward, and her shoulders are sculpted a bit slimmer, so she can bring her arm forward a bit more. And that's the same for going back as well. She has the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then ball jointed wrist. And then the torso is on a hinge as well. And then the legs are on hinges. And although she has a flexible skirt, they are quite restricted still since they're re since the cut doesn't go all the way to the top. So she can only kick about that far to the side. Kick for that much. Kick back that much. She doesn't have the thigh swivel, but she does have the rotation in the boot. And then double jointed knees, but again it breaks the sculpt. And then she's got ball jointed ankle, so go back that much. For that much, can lean side to side as well as twist. So 003 is definitely the most restricted in terms of articulation, just because of the skirt. But you should be able to get most of the poses that you'd want from this figure. So that's the figures, let's take a look at the accessories. So each figure comes with a pair of fists, two open palmed hands, and then one hand to hold their weapon. And it's the same for Zero Fall, but obviously he has the mechanical hand instead, so it is a different sculpt, and that's the same for his other hands as well. They each come with their main weapon, nicely sculpted and detailed, and these can just be easily slotted into the holsters, like so. And then 004 and 7 comes with these stands. And then the peg just easily slots into the soles of their feet. 
and then 003 comes with a smaller stand. So my final thoughts are overall, although these are older figures, they're still really solid looking figures. They have nice skulls and look very accurate to how they appear in the show and their range of articulation is pretty decent as well. So you should be able to get all the poses that you'd want these characters to do. But they are quite old now and the prices for them have pretty expensive nowadays. So if you can find them for a decent price, then I can recommend them, especially if you're a fan of these characters or the show. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Mm-hmm.